In this video, I'm going to give you five top tips on how to get scouted in soccer. Hi everyone, I'm Elliot, founder of Playaway Global, where our mission is to support, educate and inspire soccer players and coaches from around the world. Now a question we get asked all the time is how do I get scouted in soccer? So we thought we'd put together a short video and give you our five top tips on how to get scouted in football. Tip number one, create a plan, map out your path. It's everyone's aspirations to play for the top teams in the world, your Manchester United's, your Real Madrid's, but how do you get there? You know, you can't expect to go from playing at an amateur level of football, social level of football with your friends, to get to the here, it doesn't happen overnight. So you need to know what's your path, how are you going to achieve that, how are you going to get there? So maybe that you're in a, in a youth team at the moment, what's your next step from there? Is it to go and find a professional academy? Is it to find yourself some professional coaching so you can improve as a player? Then your next step may be, can you find a semi-professional team to play your? And again, you can't expect to go and step straight into the first team there. It may be that you have to go into the reserves and prove your worth, show your abilities, show your capabilities, what you can do before you step up into the senior team, to the first team of the semi-professional team. Then where do you go from there? Now, you're not necessarily going to go from semi-professional to a professional team. Can you find a semi-professional team player in a higher level, a higher league than where you currently are. So it's all about planning your baby steps and how you're going to make it to that end goal of playing for the best club that you can. Tip number two, put yourself out there. Now, you can't expect people to come knocking on your door, come and asking you to join their club. It just doesn't happen. Unless you're a very well-known name, a famous player, you built yourself a reputation in the game, it's very rare that you're going to have teams knocking on your door. So, how do you get there? Well, you put yourself out there, networking is a vital part of succeeding in anything in life. Who do you know in your circle that you already have? Is it friends? Is it family? Is it past coaches, past acquaintances? I'm sure someone in your circle is currently playing at a team that you would like to be at or has connections with a coach that you would like to train under, reach out to them, ask if they can put you in touch. Can you find clubs and coaches that you can reach out to and convince to invite you down to a training session? At Playaway Global, we're in daily contact with coaches, clubs, scouts, and agents who are actively looking for players from the professional level and the semi-professional level. So if you want more information on that, link is in the description below. Tip number three, highlight reels. When you're reaching out to coaches and clubs, Agents and scouts, you need to have something that you can give to them, that you can show them. Just saying that you're a good player is not going to be enough to get that invite down. They are going to want to be able to see what you can do. You need to be able to prove it. So a way of doing that is put together a short video with all of your highlights. From our stats, from what we've seen, it's very, very tough to get a coach to watch even just two minutes of a video clip. So our advice to you is make sure all of your best highlights are at the very beginning. Make sure you don't have any long cheesy intros, get straight down to the point. And a big thing we see with our players who bring in the highlights reel to us is that they're not very clear on who the highlight reel is presenting. So make it very clear who the highlight reel is, make sure you stand out, make sure your best clips are at the beginning of the video, keep it nice and short. Now, a lot of coaches also are very aware that it's easy to make anyone look good in the highlight reel, taking a couple of seconds here and there and putting them into one big video. What they wanna see as well is what you can do in a full game. So if you can get yourself a video footage of a 90 minute game, which you can also present along with your highlight reel to a coach, that is very, very beneficial for you. Number four your playing CV. Just like every job out there in the world, when you're applying for a new position, you need to have a CV. So on your CV, make sure you've got all of your important information on there. That includes your name, your age, your date of birth, what country your passport is from. There's a lot of leagues around the world that have restrictions on the number of foreign players they can have in their squad. So it's important you include that. Some coaches want to know your weight, your height, what's your dominant foot, what's your preferred playing position. These are all important things to put into your CV. You can include also some achievements that you've made, your career stats, but just make sure you keep it nice and concise 
down to one page. No one enjoys traipsing through five page documents. Tip number five. Be ready for rejection. Now, you can look at any successful person or player out there in the world, and I can guarantee you that they have had to face rejection at some point. Everybody has to do it. It's how you react to that re rejection that makes you successful. Some important things to try and take away from it is learn from your rejection. Ask for some feedback. Find out why you didn't get picked, why you didn't make the team. Take on board that feedback and then try and improve yourself so that next time you don't have the same issue. Failure is part of the process. You're just gonna have to accept that and it's all about your persistence and your consistency that's gonna make you successful. You're probably gonna hear 100 no's before you even get one maybe. Rejection is just a test of your determination. How much do you really want to succeed and how much do you really want to go to that next level? So you just have to keep plugging away, keep believing in yourself, keep holding your head up high, and on to the next one. Bonus tip number six. Now combines, open tryouts, they're a great way for you to get exposure and to try and get your name out there. But one thing to remember is that they are also a business. So the majority of time, they are trying to make some money as well, and they may not necessarily have your best interests at heart. So make sure you're aware of that when you go into it. If anyone from an open trial or a combine guarantees that they're gonna place you at a professional or semi-professional club, they're definitely alarm bells should be ringing for you. No one can make that guarantee. It's all about how you perform on the day and do you match and meet the criteria that the coaches who are there are looking for. So that's our five tips plus bonus tip on how you can get scouted in soccer. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the red button below, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.